how to solve thermochemical equation. We have here an equation, balance equation, burning of methane or CH4 plus two oxygen gas yield carbon dioxide gas plus two moles of H2O liquid. So the heat of reaction is negative 890 kilojoules. And this is an exothermic reaction because heat is released. We know that heat is released when heat is on the product side. On the product side. Again, if it is negative sign, it means it is exothermic reaction. Now, the conversion factors based on this balance equation showing relationship between mole of its reactant and mole of product with the amount of heat of reaction, the unit is kilojoules. So the coefficient of CH4 is 1, and the heat is negative 890. Therefore, one conversion factor is 1 mole CH4 over negative 890 kilojoules, or negative 890 kilojoules over 1 mole of CH4. So these are the two conversion factors relating CH4, CH4, and the delta H, the heat of reaction. Now the relationship between oxygen, two moles of oxygen, and the delta H is two moles of oxygen over negative 890 kilojoules or negative 890 kilojoules over two moles of oxygen. Another relationship is CO2. CO2, one mole of CO2 over negative 890 kilojoules or negative 890 kilojoules over one mole of CO2. So when are we going to use this? It, as you have learned in the past lesson in stoichiometry, the unit on top is the unknown and the unit on the denominator is the unit of the given. So two moles of H2O over negative 890 kilojoules or negative 890 kilojoules over two moles of H2O. So steps in solving thermochemical equation problems. Step one, if the given is in grams, then convert it first to mole using molar mass, which is one mole over grams. Step two, then use the appropriate conversion factor to solve for the unknown. Remember, Unknown is written on, on top. So let's have a problem here. Problem number one is how much heat is released by burning 64 gra grams of methane. The molar mass of methane is 16 grams per, per mole. So again, list down the knowns. The knowns are 64 grams of CH4, and the unknown is the delta H, or the heat of reaction. And the molar mass is given. And then from the balance equation, the conversion factor, either this one or this one, but you use negative 890 over 1 mole is CH4 because the unknown, which is kilojoules, this is the unknown, the unit is kilojoules, must be written on top. And the unit of the given mole written 
on the denominator. So the plan, planning, how are you going to go about this? Of course, you have to convert grams to moles. And then after that, use the conversion factor to convert mole to kilojoules. So convert 64 grams to mole by using the molar mass, one mole of CH4 over 16 grams of CH4. So cancel CH4 gram CH4, cancel gram CH4. In math, you have 64 times 1 divided by 16 will give you 4 moles of CH4. Now that it is in mole, you can now use the conversion factor. So cancel mole CH4, cancel mole CH4. So the equation now is 4 times negative 890 kilojoules divided by 1 will give you negative 3560 3, kilojoules. Now, another problem here is how much heat is released by burning 128 grams of oxygen. So, the molar mass of oxygen is given. So, the same, you need to convert the grams of oxygen to, to mole oxygen. So, from the balance equation, these are the conversion factors. But you will you we will use this because the unknown is kilojoules. So convert grams 128 grams of oxygen using the molar mass of oxygen, one mole of oxygen over 32 grams. So cancel grams of oxygen, grams of oxygen. The equation now is 128 times 1 divided by 32 will give you 4 moles of oxygen. Now that it is already in mole, you can use now the conversion factor to convert mole to kilojoules. So the conversion factor is negative 890 kilojoules over 2 moles of O2. Where do we get 2? The coefficient here, the coefficient of oxygen in the balance equation. So negative 890 kilojoules. Remember kilojoules unit is the unknown. So it is written on top. So cancel mole oxygen. Cancel mole oxygen. The equation now is 4 times negative 890 kilojoules divided by 2 will give you negative 1,780 kilojoules. Okay, this problem requires how many grams of methane is needed to release 2,670 kilojoules of heat. The molar mass is given. So this time, the heat is given and the unknown is grams okay so that means you will convert our plan we will convert the kilojoules of heat into moles and once it is already in moles we can now convert it to grams using the molar mass so the conversion factor is one mole of ch4 over negative 890 kilojoules so cancel kilojoules, kilojoules, the equation now is negative 2,670 times 1 divided by negative 890 kilojoules gives you 3 moles of CH4. Now, since it is already in mole, we can now use the molar mass to convert 3 moles to grams. 16 grams CH4 over 1 mole of CH4. So cancel CH4, mole CH4. Then equation is 3 times 16 grams CH4 divided by 1 gives you 48 grams CH4. Another problem here, 
how many grams of oxygen is needed to release 3,560 kilojoules, the molar mass of oxygen is given. So again, the unknown is grams. And the given is the delta H or the kilojoules of heat. The molar mass is given. So from the balance equation, the conversion factor relating the number of mole of oxygen is 2 on the balance equation. Remember, this 2. Okay, so negative 890 kilojoule over 2 mole of oxygen or... 2 moles of oxygen over negative 890 kilojoules. And this is the conversion factor to use because mole oxygen is on top. So planning, kilojoules converted to mole, use this conversion factor. Cancel kilojoules, cancel kilojoules. Then equation is three negative 3,560 times 2 mole O2 divided by negative 890 is equal to 8 moles of O2. Now, we can use now the molar mass to convert 8 moles of O2 to grams. So, 8 moles of O2 times 32 grams of O2 divided by 1 mole of O2 gives you 256 grams of O2. So the unit of mole O2 is cancelled. Okay, another problem. We have here 2 moles of sodium bicarbonate absorbs heat to, to, to decompose to sodium carbonate plus water plus CO2. So, it means 2 moles of sodium carbonate requires 85 kilojoules of heat. And heat is absorbed by sodium bicarbonate in order for it to be decomposed. So, this is an endothermic reaction because heat is absorbed and the, delta, and the heat is on the reactant side and delta H is positive. So the problem is calculate the amount of heat required to break down 2.5 mole of sodium bicarbonate. So it's very clear on the reaction that 2 moles requires 85 kilojoules. Now the problem is how much if it is 2.5 mole sodium bicarbonate. So there is no conversion to grams. Because mole is already given, and we can use directly the conversion factor to calculate for the amount of heat, right? And this is the conversion factor, 85 kilojoules over 2 moles of sodium bicarbonate, because the unknown is kilojoules. That's why this is the conversion factor to use. So, planning. Since the given is in moles, then proceed to conversion factor at once. So delta H is equal to 2.5 mole sodium bicarbonate times 8.5 kilojoules over 2 moles of sodium bicarbonate. Again, cancel mole of sodium bicarbonate. Then the equation is... 2.5 times 8.5 kilojoules divided by 2. The answer is 106 kilojoules.